So one of the comments on a previous video on my Ryobi Weed Whacker, they mentioned that I didn't show how to change the spool when the spool runs out. Another comment also mentioned this button. And this button extends, when you push it, it extends the cord out, this button here. But there's two other buttons on either side, this one's a little bit brighter, which have arrows on them. So you just push these two buttons in on either side with your fingers and wiggle the top. Now I have broken a few of these, but they are maybe $5 at uh, the store, the local hardware store. So this isn't empty yet, but for the sake of the video, I figured I'd, I'd do two spools as this cord or line is maybe three years old now and I haven't used a full a full refill so I'm going to change two spools. Always notice that there's a hole right here that's where you can uh, put it through a nail to help it spin so I'm going to just unthread this and then you can see that the cord simply comes out the, the side. Put this on a nail this little hook piece. Actually, we'll put it on below right there. And then you can easily pull your cord. And so what I did when I bought the Rayobi is I already had one that came with the machine, with the weed whacker. And then they sell these three packs of refills. I keep just rewinding the lines, and I think the refills were cheap, like maybe $15 for three, and then I've just rewound them. So you can see I still have two that are the old ones. Okay, so the way that you do it is there's a little slot right there. There's a little hole right there. And once you try to put it in, the thread, it can only go in one way. If you try to put it in this way, it doesn't go at all. So then you know that it goes in this way. And if you look with a keen eye, you can actually see it right in there, wrapped around right inside. There's a little spot for it to wrap around, but you don't need to go in too far. And then you just reverse the operation. It actually shows you which way to wind a line. So then you just wind a line. And uh, I usually just do this by hand like this. But you can keep a little bit of a firm grip on, the, on this thing right here, which is where I set it up. So you just pull that out and keep winding away. Okay, so once you have it wrapped, I try not to go wider than the smallest, like this inside. So I don't try to stuff too much into one. And then you just simply slice it off. And what you do is you come up through the first little rivet there, or divot, and then come back down through there, and it's good to go. That's how you store it. Okay, so this is a finished one, and you can see that it's not too wide. It's not bulbous around the spool. I try not to go with the cord wider than the actual spool. And then the way you store it is you just come up through the first one, and then back down through the second one, and then it's good to be stored. So then the way you put it on is, earlier I mentioned that this part you can see is what would engage with this turning motion. So this part goes down. And then the one with the instructions about which way to turn the line goes up. So you just disconnect this. And then you'll see there's a hole. It's so easy. You just see that there's a hole right there. See that little hole right there. So you just take the end of the cord and put it through that little hole as your first step and then you try to get you don't want to trap this line underneath the spool which is really easy if you don't make this too too wide 
it won't get trapped underneath the spool. And then you can just pop back in your top piece and they just go back in very easily. And then you can just advance the spool by pushing this little white button here and it allows the spool to advance. Now the way the spool advances when you're normally cutting the grass is just by starting and stopping. So every time the spool slows down or speeds up, it gets um, more line coming out. And you can hear it cutting on the, the cutter here, the clipper. So the old ones that I used to use, the weed eaters, you used to have to bang them on the ground to get the extension, to get the cord to come out. But in this case, it just comes out every time it starts and stops, so it's really handy. Anyways, good luck. So just to recap, you put the spool on some nails, which allows you to pull the string. And then you take this string, 